Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise and I'm in Labadee, Labadee, Haiti today and I'm going to show you around the island. Here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm going to show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. All right, we're on the independence of the sea and we came to Labadee, Haiti today. There's the sign right off of the ship when you come off to the right. And I'm going to show you around here and we're just going to, I'm going to show you the private island so you don't have to waste a bunch of money thinking that you have to buy stuff when the stuff is, there's free stuff over here. So we're going to talk about it. There is towel stations and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second, but there's definitely some bands and the places to give tips. But uh, let's, let's go up here, up to the right. I'll show you what's up here. So the information center here to ask any questions if you want, but what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you, you want to bring your CPAS card, obviously, to get off the ship, you bring your CPAS card, and this is a private island, so anything that you want to buy on the island, you just need your CPAS card, and they have sodas, drinks, uh, there's different, um, the towels you could check out with your CPAS card, so this is all a private island which means uh, there's no, anybody that's here are the people that are either working here or uh, tourists like you and I that will be here. So. All right, so what I did is I just stayed to the left and I'm gonna show you the map right up here and you'll be able to see the island and there are walking, uh, you know, cement walking tracks, but there is sand to walk on as well. And there are trams to take you around. Let me show you that right now. All right, check it out. You got all these signs that tell you where to go. <laughs> and then there's a map right over here. So here they have different excursions and tickets that you could get if you haven't, like the zip line, different things. But let me show you this map right here. The map, it shows where you're at. So like you can see the ship is right over here. So we just got off. And so we're probably, where are we at? Somewhere around here, I would think. But you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a shot of this and then you can uh, screenshot it and look around if you'd like. But, so there's that. And then it takes you to all these different things. You need to find it and you just get on here no charge but it's also nice to tip the driver whenever you do take a trip if you take a trip give a tip all right so what we're gonna do is you, you could see the different colors now you don't like they're not necessarily marked like on Coco K I mean there is a yellow line I don't know if that's a yellow one we're about to find out, but uh, oh, look at that. Let's go listen to them for a second. There's the zip line right over here uh, that comes down and the roads actually, this is where the tractors go and then the beach is right over there and there is a walk path on that side as well. So usually, uh, right here, instead of walking, you would just take the trip. You can see those people walking, I'm walking. Um, it's easier to walk on this street than it is on the regular sand. But like I said, there is a trail over there, like uh, a walk path. So let me show you that. But there are these little cool places, look at this. Little cool places to just chill and relax, nice in the shade. So you can see there's all this nice little park area. The beach is right over there. And then you can see like there's these little just cool places, not only to hang out, but to get a, a nice photo op. Check out this boat that's actually like a lounge area. And then uh, that goes somewhere. <laughs> and then uh, over here, we have the, the beach club. Let me show you that because look, check out the sign. Check out the sign. You can always see where you're at, not only with the signs, but the maps are around as well. So that's good. So let me see if this one actually has a spot where you are. Um, I would assume I'm somewhere right over here somewhere. There are places to smoke, it looks like, on the island as well. No swimming on this side. And uh, let's see. 
So the, again, there are the red, the yellow, the green. So let me see if those are, I don't know if those are uh, marked or by colors. They are on the map, but let me show you right over here, um, right before or right after I show you this part right over here, okay? <laughs> Okay, so this is Barefoot Beach Club, and it is for the uh, pinnacle and the people in the suites and stuff like that. So not just anybody could be in there, but you could see there are some cabanas, which I'm sure cost a little bit more. There's a place to get towels. And uh, see, that there is a, kind of like a cove over there. So it's not like the open ocean, but it is like a bay or a cove. Um, and right over here is the restrooms but I wanna show you a lot of times what people purchase and what is actually included, okay? So let me go right here on the other side of these restrooms and I'm gonna show you what costs money, but what's also included. Oh look, here's some showers. Now as you're walking, there'll be people to help you out and show you a place to um, sit or help you find a place. Now those people are working for tips, so make sure to bring some tip money. But see all these, see all these right here? All this right here. Now there's no swimming over here. It, the swimming's over there, which I'll show you in just a second. But all of this beach chairs is included. But then this, it costs. So this is like a little cabana for two, or I don't know what it's called. Um, but it, it's like, this costs money, that doesn't. Right next to each other, okay? But of course that has a little bit more shade. But look, there are, uh, you know, some trees for shade as well. So. Let me show you right over here. I'm going to show you where you can actually have the same thing where it's included um, and you could swim and you could be on the beach. So let me show you. Check out. See the walkway? It's very nice. So it's a little bit easier to walk than if you were on the sand. Um, call me lazy, but you know how it is. You're walking in the sand. You walk like 100 yards and it's like you walk 300 yards. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, so this is the nice island. So, oh, beach mats, check it out. You can get a beach mat to float. I think that's funny that you can't swim right there, but the beach mats are right here. I think it's because, well, there's lifeguards on duties, uh, on duty, but I think, uh, oh, I guess you can get in the water. You just can't go out farther, mainly because of the waves. All right, I know you don't wanna look at me, you wanna look at this. Let me turn it around and show you, here we go. See, look, there's places for hammocks. There's that road that I was on where the tractor's taking people and there are another shuttle bus, so that kind of takes people wherever they wanna go. And there's a water park for kids, vo beach volleyball or sand volleyball right here. And again, we're just walking next to this right here. Hey. Morning. And uh, we're just walking next, The this is paid. This is not paid, meaning this is included. So. There's plenty of space, and I think a lot of times people will um, want to get something on the beach. And they want to guarantee a spot. Now, it's early. Um, let me see what time it is. Uh, so it's about 9.30 in the morning, about one hour after the gangway opened. And you can see that it's not really even full at all. But the thing about this is there's only one ship here. So sometimes there'll be two ships, but I would say there's probably enough of these for people, even if nobody even purchased anything. Now, I know you might want to purchase something um, as far as, there's a, there's a bar. Uh, <laughs> I know you might want to purchase something like, so that you have something that you know is yours, that nobody else can have. And uh, so, you know, uh, but this is all included. Look, all this is included. So I'm gonna show you, way over there, there's stuff where you have to pay, and I'm gonna show you that. And it's close to the beach, just like this. But you can see, this is where everybody kind of hangs out. Over there, there was nobody, but everybody's kind of right here where you can swim. There's like a little, uh, like a little uh, buoy area where you can't go past over there. There's a bar, like floating bar out there. And then there's the zip line coming down here. So uh, let's, uh, let's go on that side. I'm gonna show you the other side. All right, it was right over there. And now look, there's a bar here, area to hang out. But look, all of this is included, okay? Look, they have some swings, hammocks over the water. Again, all this is included. Now look, see this beach where everybody's swimming? You have, right over there, you have the, um, sorry, I tried to get it focused for you, but you have the green area. That is extra cost, so you can see the different colors. So see blue right here, and then green with some day beds and different things same water that you go into, same area. 
there's a little floating bar over there. Uh, that right there is extra, but look right there next to it. Can you see that over there? That right next to it is not extra. So pretty cool. So whenever you're uh, getting um, one of these free ones, even though they're free, you can see the team will take you and they'll shake it off for you, take all the sand off and say, here, we'll set you up right here. You want this one? And I mean, you get to pick, right? You get to pick anyway. It's first come first serve, so you're picking these. But when the team um, takes time to like set it up for you and they, you know, they put it on a side, they pound it off. I mean, it's a good thing to give them a tip. I mean, that's what they're working for. You know, they're working for tips. Um, so make sure to bring tip money off the island or on the island when you come. Okay. So um, I want to show you the market right over here because we have the market and, um, and then the other parts of the island. So let's check that out. Okay, I was just right over there and this is one of the eateries. Now all this is included. It's just like the windjammer or the buffet that's on the ship. And so you just walk up and you get it. Uh, it's not open yet because like I said, it's early, but just wanted to let you know that every once in a while you're gonna have a place to eat. There's gonna be restrooms, a place to eat, and a bar all next to whatever place you sit. So, you know, there's lots of seating as well, but look at the market over here. I want to tell you a little bit about the market as we go through it. Um, so these people are um, part of the island here. They're, they're ha Haitians. And they, they get put into a lottery to be able to have their name pulled to be able to have their shops. And so this is, this is um, you know, one part of the lottery. You got the uh, artisan market here which is another part, which I'll show you that a little bit. And then you have the Arson Village, which is a whole nother, whole nother experience, okay? So let me show you this first, and then we'll show you the Arson Village, okay? Here we go. Okay, walking into the market here, you can just see there's lots of different, this is really cool stuff, lots of different stuff, but this is different than what you're gonna find over in the other place here uh, that I'm about to show you. Um, meaning that, I mean, a lot of this stuff, maybe you might be able to get pretty much anywhere, right? I don't know, maybe on Amazon, <laughs> but there are some stuff that, I mean, you don't even, like you can actually touch it, feel it, so maybe not purchase it on Amazon, but um, they're, they're, when we go over here on the other side, it's gonna be a whole different, see how I could just look around and nobody's talking to me? And, uh, <laughs> and I could just shop here, no problem. When we go over to this other side, it's gonna to be totally different. So I'm gonna show you, maybe I can just show you like what's happening to people as they walk in. So see, so they wanna take you to their shop. So, <laughs> and they have a question. What's up, you're on video, is that okay? <laughs> what's up? First time here. No, I've been here before. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Like my beard. <laughs> I was going to show people the, the different shops in just a second. So, but you got a shop? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you, how do you get a shop here? Yeah. We have shop to pay tax. Okay. Okay. They pass to take, some people pay $3, some pay $5. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? okay no. All right, thanks. Okay. So, so you can see it is pretty, pretty much, I mean, I'm going to walk through there in just a second. <laughs> I'm going to show you. So the, the hard part about it is, you know, like, I'll tell you one experience that happened with Amber last time we were here. They're like, hey, come into my shop. How, how are you doing? What's your favorite color? Is it purple, you know? They grab a purple thing. They go, oh, my name is Michael. What's yours? And then she goes, Amber. And they start carving her name on this item. <laughs> like, Amber is a purple-like shot glass with the name Amber on it. And then Haiti on the other side while they're talking to us. And they go, okay, I have it for you. Here you go. Give whatever you want. <laughs> and we're like, um, how much does it cost? You know? And they're like, however much you want to give. And then so she got like a dollar or two out and they go, well, it's at least $10. Come on. <laughs> it was uh, so I just wanted to let you know. Now, I've been to Jamaica and Jamaica, in my experience, outside of the port and when you take excursions, 
I mean, it doesn't matter what you give for a tip, they're gonna want more. That's just my experience, I could be wrong. But, uh, so, I don't know if that's gonna happen here, but I got a $10 bill, so let's see what happens when I go in here. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Salky. He's gonna show us around. So let's go look around the artisan shop for the locals, right? Here we go. Okay, so the other side is right over here and there is a sign that says more shops. So all these people are ready to take you on a tour for more shops this way. Now th that one, you saw how going in there, how that was. But over here, um, there's more shops, but also one thing to understand is if you buy stuff over there at the island, right over there, uh, most of all that money is going to the ship and to you know Royal Caribbean because that's the private island. What we're doing right here, we're still on the private island. Like they have to get lotto, uh, a lottery pool to be able to be in here. But this is where, well, if you purchase in here, you'll be able to really um, support the local artisans more than uh, if you were out by the ship. So. Think about it is the money out there stays out there the money in here stays in here they do pay a little uh, tax for being here but um they have different shops so what shop are you going to show me sulky okay all, all yeah everybody has a different shop and yours so you have your own specific one mm -hmm. and so everybody that's over there is waiting to bring somebody like me to show them their shop and uh, and they make they make stuff. So you make you make a lot of this. Yeah. So you can see the magnets for Haiti. You got like different stuff. So this is this is better than the that, stuff that, you can get over there, huh? That's, that's for the that's for the brother you spoke down there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's for me. Okay. So this one was um, uh, I think it was Michael. 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 And then this one is yours. So you have a partner that you partner up with this. Very nice. Oh, this is nice. How much is this? Yeah, how much? Seven, okay. Very nice. And do, do you do the carvings? Because these come like um, regular and then you do the... Yeah, jewelry boxes. Oh, very nice. I can give name. I can put twenty twenty three like that. Oh yeah, you can carve on it for me. Okay, very nice. All right, I think I want to get the flute. This one right here. Well, are these all the same price? No. Which ones? How much is this one? This is ten. Ten and this one. This one's ten as well. I kind of like the smaller one though. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna give you ten for this one. Is that cool? Thank you. All right. There you go. All right. All right. So now let me. <laughs> so I, I can't get out. I bought one thing, but I'm buying another. <laughs> so this one's yours. Yeah, this is my section. You try anything you want. The best you can try. I send you better one. You try the one. Okay. I'm gonna show you next. You inside the one. Okay. And did uh, somebody paint these? Yeah, this is for somebody. This is my section. I said to you, this is separate. Okay, this one's your section. Yeah, okay, okay. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. This is all fishermen people. Uh -huh. you. This is all fishermen people. They people sit down in the kayak. This is a palm tree. This one gave us a village Haiti. Okay. You see? This is the black and white. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? I have a fridge here, Magnus. Yes. Okay. I need one of these. Yeah. How much are these? Uh, the fridge of Magnus. You said two for ten. See, two, two for ten. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very nice. What's this here? This is a purse cap. This is a of flowers. This is a plum tree. How much is this? This one costs ten. Okay. You know what? I like that. Let me get that right there. Oh, I know about that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't need a bag. Oh, I'll bring. I'll bring my bag. Okay. 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 It's a nice t-shirt. I'm a bit on it. Uh -huh. It is a hemp painting. I'm making the t-shirt. Oh wow! Sometimes yeah, that is hemp paint. Me show you both because. Very see, nice. It's a hemp painting. You yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Very nice. Hemp wow. Painting. Yeah. I mean, these are in the t-shirt. Nice painting. Which one do you like? In my hands. 
Um, you know, I need to go. One little thing. If you buy one little thing in my hand, yeah. I'm a, not I know, money. I know. I, I just need to go. My wife's waiting for me, and I see we're getting ready to eat right now. So One little thing for $5. Uh, no, I think I'll be fine I, this time. I got this, and I got the flute, and uh, I just have to get going. I'm sorry. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. You Thank you very much. Oh, I got to go hit this way. I got to go. Hey, does it go around? I can't. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you. Hi. This is only different shop for me. Yeah. So we have to show you something you have made. I'll present you different bracelet. This is the coconut. This is the one bracelet coconut. Yeah. This is a flag heavy. Check this out. For flag Haiti. Oh yeah, and for the flag. Yeah, it's little, little one, the bamboo. Yeah, for, for bamboo. bamboo center. Yeah. Some material from oh the yeah, bamboo. very nice. So most people, if you come to see it, they'll make. Because you look in every day shop over there, waiting for you too. Yeah. Anything you back me to me, I start my business, you have make satisfaction for me. So yeah. little thing, little bigger, little fight thing, no problem. Yeah. For example, Russian, you have make satisfaction for me, you have back me for the little thing. Mm -hmm. Because I want to pick up. How much is this? So you are boss man. This is, you have a bit matching on the bracelet, you see it? Yeah. So somebody over there, since you have sell one, 20, 25. If oh, you okay. buy pair, you have paid for two because me I call it much for me. Right. Except you, you just tell me how much on spend. You don't pay two, you don't pay twenty five. You just tell me how much on spend. Me I start my business. Well, I have all I have is ten dollars left. Can you do I don't want to do. Can I don't want to do this for ten. Can you can you do it fifteen? No, all I have is ten dollars. No oh no, let, let no, me get something it, different. Get because I start my business. See for me. I give for ten. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's, now, now I'm out of money. No problem. But look, no you have money to buy right here, too. This is Asian money. <laughs> Asian, Asian money. Can you try Asian money? Oh, no, I'm good. No, this is hey, thank you for this. I appreciate it. Right. I appreciate the deal you gave me. 100 good, 50 good, 250, 1,500. Yeah. 25 good. So okay. you are personally I make two happy. So can you show one for the collection? <laughs> oh no, I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. Thank you very much. No thank you very much. Yeah, sorry. I'm out. <laughs> I spent all my money. Oh my goodness! All right, so, 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 same thing. You know, shop to shop to shop. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of here, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be. I mean, I wanted to help them, and uh, but you know, it's it's. Uh, this is where you see the desperation a little bit. Like they really need somebody uh, to purchase stuff meaning this is their livelihood you know this is this is how they make money so like uh, that one I bought the flute you know the little flute here it was seven dollars but I gave them ten but then another guy you know this thing and because I'm carrying stuff they know I bought stuff so everybody's yelling at me right now but this thing was 25 but I got it for 10 oh my gosh I didn't feel good about that but all I had was ten dollars left you know so if I just talk to the camera and ignore everybody talking to me I could probably get out of this area but anyway I mean it's that's how it works you know um, it could be or seem kind of pushy but it's not really pushy it's more of like the like I said the desperation so take some time bring some money I would bring fives all I had was tens <laughs> I would bring some fives, maybe some ones, and then uh, you could get some cool stuff. But again, uh, that is a whole different experience than uh, out here on the regular, at the regular island. So, I mean, it is, it's the artisan village, okay? So, anyway, it's, it's always hard to say no, right? Okay, let me show you the rest of this island. I know this video is getting a little bit long, but we're almost done. Here we go. Let me show you the rest. Don't go yet. Let me show you the rest. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is where we just were. All right, so I kind of walked this. This is the trolley station. Um, so that's where we are back at the trolley station uh, that I had at the very beginning. And this is that road that I was walking on that is like, but then you have the trails. So I showed you this. This is kind of like some of the paid area. And then we walked this way, the kids' water park, right? And then we saw this food area here, and then we saw right here the artisan area. But look, see how you could take a trolley through the artisan area and get to over here? 
So over here, let's see, 34, 33, 34, 35. Let's see, 34. Oh, that's a tram station. Let's see, 30. What's 33? Let me find 33. Floating mat station. All right. But it looks like it's a whole nother place to hang out over here on this side. And it looks like there's a kid's area for inflatables in the water here. This right up here is uh, the coaster. Uh, it's like a roller coaster that comes down. It's kind of like a slide, like an alpine slide kind of thing. And then remember when I'm pointing at those ones that are uh, 27? So 27 is the uh, adrenaline beach beds. That costs money. But remember there was some, some uh, ones right here next to it and one's right here next to it. See how they don't show all the free stuff pretty much along the beach. So I guess one thing that I would say is that area where I just walked is about a quarter mile, 20 minutes. And that's why taking the tram is, could be worth it <laughs> if you wanna just get over to the other side. Um, you know, bring some good walking shoes, but also bring some sandals for the beach, of course. Um, but I think a lot of times people come with their sandals and then they're, they're walking and they're walking far, like I said. So with all that being said, if you want to get through the Artisan Village on uh, the tram, it's a little bit different. You could just drive through and look, you don't, you don't have to walk through. But like I said, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but when, uh, when I bought something, everybody would, like, I didn't show it on video, but there was, everybody was flocking around me to make sure that I went to their shop next. Um, and the reason why they wanted me to go to their shop next is because I spent money. So I would say, don't go there to look. <laughs> Cause it's so hard to say no, but that that's different on, um, on, on perfect day at Coco K. You don't have that experience, which I'm not saying this is a bad experience. I mean, it's awesome. And you can get some great things. But when it comes to private island, you think you're on a private island. You are when 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 you when it's sa you're safe. You're safe on this island. Um, you might think, what if I go that way? There's really nothing that way. Uh, the cove that's over there is the other side. So when you come off the ship here, it pretty much takes you straight into there and around, just like that map was. And so. Anyway, I think, uh, I hope this gave you a little bit of a tour and give you a little bit about what to expect here at Labadee. So uh, let me give you one more shot of the ship back there. Labadee, Haiti, thanks for watching. Watch this video if you'd like to see more. And uh, I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. See ya.